While our jobs are important to us, so are the relationships we're in. Yeah. But what happens when you start dating someone that works with you? Can it work out? Well, we're looking at office relationships in today's Dating Do's and Don'ts. All right. First and foremost, make sure that you're very familiar with your office's dating policies. You could be let go for actually having a relationship and not reporting it to HR. Most companies have very strict rules against it, so be subtle, cautious, and also be ready to face the consequences if management comes to find out about your relationship. If you find that office romances are taken casually and you happen to really like it there at your workplace, hey, then great, you're okay. That's right, and also have an initial discussion about the status of the relationship, as in the case of all relationships. Oh, yeah. Engaging in, where are we heading? That conversation can seem awkward, but if you're dating a colleague, you need to have that conversation sooner rather than later. Relationship experts actually say that the majority of relationships usually comes three to four months after you start dating. However, people working in the same office need to talk about that after four dates, if not sooner. I'd yeah, say. all right, there you go. Spend some time with other colleagues and the, other than the one you're just dating. You're likely to attract unwanted attention if you both are spending too much time with each other. You know, like meeting in the office when the door is closed. That's we right. all know what you're doing in there. Also, <laughs> interact with other coworkers from time to time. Remember, it's not only all about you, but it's also can make things very uncomfortable and bring bad feelings with your coworkers. That's an important one. Also, yeah. maintain a high level of professionalism during all of this. Ensure that you're giving a high level of office decorum. Maintain a distance between professional and personal lives. If your bosses find that work at your end is getting impeded due to a romantic relationship, you might be asked to either end the relationship or look for a new job. When wants that. Next, avoid sharing the same schedule, and that includes going on long vacations together. Uh, people will actually soon find out that both of you have left to for leave and came back at the same time. Remember not to always arrive or leave at the offices together since people will start getting suspicious about the intimacy of your relationship. This is going to lead to a considerable amount of rumors and gossip, and you just don't want that. You don't that. want gossips. Avoid complaining about your love oh, yeah. interest to your coworkers. Never do it, even if you're complaining about the person in a professional context. It's better to avoid speaking about the person you love while you're in office. It may hurt his or her reputation. So yeah. we want to make sure you avoid that. You thing. know, you want to be discreet. You also want to be professional at all times. Do you think it can work out? Do you feel that the I do. Can? I do, actually. Um, uh, in addition to Daily Flash, I work with a production company, and I've recently started dating someone at that company. It's so working for you? It's working. All right. So she's off we'll the market. See. Remember that. It can happen. All right. <laughs>